governance has been defined in a variety of ways by different experts. So we are going to see how has governance been defined in some ways. There are few definitions which we are going to present in this video. There is no consensus over what governance is. It is a promiscuous concept linked to a range of theoretical perspectives and policy approaches. So what makes definition of governance. These are the two different aspects. One is theoretical perspective and the other one is policy approach. So these two are the determinants of definition of governance. Definitions of governance are varied as the issues and levels of analysis to which the concept is applied. However, common in all definitions is the changing focus of political activity. So political activity, the, the focus of the political activity actually determines what is the definition of, uh, what is the definition of governance. Governance is the sum of the many ways individuals and institutions, public and private, manage their common affairs. So it is not one way of doing something. It is the sum of many ways. Educational institutes and other institutes, they manage to do their day-to-day -day work and to achieve their annual targets and to achieve their long-term targets. So how do they do all those things? there are different ways. So everything, whatever they are doing, what are different ways, they collectivize and that collective entity is governance. It is a process. The important thing is that it is not an event. We can't say that governance happens or governance hap uh, occurs once in a week or governance happens once in a day. No, it is a process that is always continuous. It is a process through which diverse interests may be accommodated and cooperative action taken. When we say that diverse interests can be accommodated, it means that we are convinced that people, institutions, they have diverse interests. And governance, the beauty of governance is that it uh, addresses that it accommodates diverse interests. For example, some people want uh, more spending on education. There are other people who want more spending on health. There are still other people who want more spending on um, uh, roads. So they, they, these people have diverse interests. So overall governance of a country, of a district, of a province actually accommodates interests of all those stakeholders, of all those people. And similarly, some cooperative action is taken. So governance is, I, I'm going to repeat that governance is the sum of the many ways individuals and institutions, public and private, manage their common affairs. Governance is the intentional regulation of social relationships and the underlying conflicts by reliable and durable means and institutions instead of the direct use of power and violence. Um, you see that these are different definitions provided by different experts. So according to this definition, governance is intentional regulation of social relationships. We have social relationships and it seems that uh, they are natural. Actually, these relationships are being intentionally regulated. We, uh, we have relationship with our teachers, we have some relationship with universities, we have a relationship with uh, uh, medical facilities. So these are different relationships and they are being intentionally regulated by somebody. Somebody means overall um, uh, governance structure. So that determines uh, how these relationships are regulated. Governance refers to self-organizing inter-organizational networks characterized by interdependence, 
resource exchange, rules of the game, and significant autonomy from the state. Rhodes did a lot of work on governance, and he provided this de definition according to which it is uh, it is self-organizing. When we say that governance is self-organizes, we believe that there must be internal organization in governance. There are inter-organizational networks. Inter-organizational means networks which link different organizations. And then there is interdependence on resources. And there are some rules of games. And all these things actually uh, provide governance framework, governance structure. Let's see another definition that governance is a two-way process where aspects, qualities, problems and opportunities of both the governing system and the system to be governed are taken into consideration. So governance is not a one-way process. It is not a process of controlling something. Rather, it is a process of governing something. When we say that it is a process of governing something, it means it is two-way. There is a governing body and there is a body that is being governed. So both interact with each other and both influence each other. So in, um, um, we, we saw different definitions. These are some of the views um, on um, governance. They are not all, but they are some of the views on governance um, which have made up different definitions of the governance.